All right, everybody, sucks by the numbers. Welcome back. T-minus 30 minutes until this FOMC decision takes place, but I wanted to do a quick update here on everyone's favorite uh, voice AI assist company. Name of the stock, Soundhound AI Incorporated, ticker symbol SOUN, listed here on the NASDAQ. Stock right now trading at $1.73 a share, down six cents, roughly three and a third percent now here on the day. But I mentioned in the Discord, again, Discord link in the description of every video, free to join. You guys can come in. You can talk about stocks. You can talk about the weather, whatever you want. But I've been mentioning in the Discord that we could potentially break below this short-term uh, support trend line here at around $1.77. And then if that happened, we could potentially retest this uh, bottom long-term support trend line here at about 171, it looks like. And you can see today the stock down 173, hit a low of 172. So long story short, um, in my opinion, I think it is a screaming buy across the board. I think I thought anything at around two and change was a good buy. Here at sub two, in my opinion, you don't even have to ask me. But Again, if anyone potentially felt that they missed out on this, you know, uh, rally that we had uh, a while back, where are we here? Yeah, this was all the way back, kind of uh, basically middle of the summer there, back in July. We had this stock go from $1.90 about when we first started looking at it, north to $5 a share when we first started looking at the company. Since then, we've been doing some really good updates here on the stock. The company has been coming in above analyst expectations on the revenue side. The CEO came out and said that in the past they received multiple buyout bids. That's why I've been basically tracking this stock like an animal and what we're seeing here i just let everyone know in the discord both in the short and long-term call out channels and i basically said that in my opinion right here at around this trend line that we are currently at i would be stepping in i would personally be a buyer here now of course if markets do begin to drop down even further after this uh, rate decision comes out and it happens to drop down to the 160s the 150s and, and it like wants to meet up with this trend line here before bouncing back up again remember as i always said in my opinion when a stock is beaten down like this that we feel is going to be a good one long term what we want to do is we do not want to get upset and emotional in the short term when looking at the short term volatility because we are investing for long term growth and long term profitability. So if we turn around a while from now and all of a sudden this stock's up at seven, eight dollars, ten dollars a share, holding steady, consistently growing, consistently signing new clients, new deals, potentially getting into a bidding war and receiving some buyout bids, what you're going to say to yourself not is damn, I first started buying at 235 a share. That's not what you're going to say. What you're going to say is, I remember constantly seeing those videos. The stock was between like 230, 240, all the way down to 180, 170. It was an all-you-can-eat buffet on this stock at around $2, you know, average price. And, you know, I, I, I was hesitant because I saw them beating it up and selling it off. So I lost confidence in the situation. I lost confidence in myself and my abilities. And I did not build a position and accumulate as many shares as I possibly could. And I'm telling you right now, nothing's guaranteed, of course. Anything can happen. This company, they, they can go out of business tomorrow. The stock could go to zero. I want you to understand the risks involved every time you make one of these investments, one of these decisions. But long story short, based on everything that we've seen here, in my opinion, with this stock down here at the low 170 level, right here at this long-term support trend line, in my opinion, I would be a massive buyer of SOUN here, especially for the long term. Now, any of you short-term traders, if you want to get in here roughly at one and three quarters and you want to catch a bounce up here to one of these trend lines, you know, 190, you want to get in, you want to get out. I mean, hey, listen, that's entirely your own prerogative, right? Me, in my opinion, I was looking at this more for the longer term. And a lot of people who mentioned to me, hey, what's going on? You know, they were asking, hey, what's going on with Soundhound? You know, I own it at like 235. I own it at like 215. Like, what's going on? Should I sell it? You know, how should I be playing this? In my opinion, if I liked it at 230, 220, 210, I absolutely love it down here at 170. Again, we have a growing company that has received bids in the past that they pushed to the side because they saw bigger and better things down the road, right? This was not going to be, as they say in one of our favorite movies, Boiler Room, one of our favorite finance movies, they say potentially this is not going to be the alternative. This is going to be the standard. And there are potentially other companies out there that could say that they're kind of in the same realm as Soundhound. However, at the end of the day, it appears to me, in my opinion, that Soundhound AI is doing it better and bigger than everyone else. Again, signing big clients like Jersey Mike's, Krispy Kreme, White Castle, implementing their voice AI throughout their drive throughs saying it increases efficiency like crazy. It frees up some of the time and some of the labor for uh, a lot 
lot of the workers there. So, you know, it, it looks like a winner across the board, in my opinion. And again, of course, we could potentially break through this trend line and drop down even a couple of cents lower. However, again, if I, if I liked it here at 170 and change, they want to bring it down to 150. No problem. I'll take it, brother. But here, let's switch over to stock charts very quickly and I'll let you go. <clears throat> As you can see, the stock has gotten beaten up, dipped below this 50-day moving average, been staying down below this mid Bollinger band. However, again, in my opinion, I just feel like this is basically a big consolidating period. And if and when the company beats earnings again on the revenue side, at least for the next quarter, again, let's take a look. As we can see, earnings not coming out until early March here on this stock, but Going back last quarter, again, we can see, yes, they missed on the EPS side, but I mentioned that when we're dealing with these micro caps, these small caps, these stocks in their state of infancy who are first starting out to build their business and expand their footprint, in my opinion, revenue reigns supreme. And you can see that this company is consistently coming in above analyst expectations on the revenue side, growing even faster than Wall Street anticipated. So that's why I feel like, in my opinion, this is going to be a potential long-term winner. And even if we only get back up to that cap level of around five and change, I mean, from this point, you do the math, you're talking about roughly a 200% return. But down here, you can see the bottom Bollinger Band on the daily 169, in my opinion. That really should be the low if the low is here with this stock. But of course, anything can happen. The MACD looks like it potentially just crossed to the downside. However, again, I have a feeling that you know, uh, the bottom may be happening and forming very soon here, and we could potentially be in for a little bit of a U-turn rally back up to that two, potentially two plus dollar level. RSI down here at 38 hasn't technically hit that 30 benchmark, which you can see that usually when it hits around that level, it, that's when it has the little bit of a spark, a little bit of a rally. That's when the volume starts coming into it. And um, that's why, again, I feel that in my opinion, even in the next day or two, if they want to continue to beat it up for the rest of the week and bring it down a couple of cents per share, I still say it's a buy. And we can see, again, bottom Bollinger Band 169. Let's check the pivot points very quickly here before we switch over to the weekly. And we can see, again, look, bottom support level, random ad, bottom support level, roughly 167. So that's why I'm saying, again, you know, we could potentially drop a couple of cents. But overall, I, I, am, I am liking Soundhound here at these levels. I'm liking the fact that, again, it basically came right down to where we thought it could potentially go, and technically, we should really be bouncing soon here. RSI on the weekly, all the way down to about 41 and a third. Not necessarily our best indicator, because you can see it doesn't necessarily really hit that, that bottom 30 or that top 70 benchmark that we look for. However, it has been staying you know, mid-range, so to speak. However, again, we are kind of approaching the bottom end of this benchmark which means the next the next leg up and the next rally could potentially be taking place here. I like the tightening that I'm seeing here and the consolidating channel here that's forming on the weekly here. So that's why even a pop back up to 242 here, this 50-day moving average, I mean, you know, you're, you're talking what? Like at least a 35, 40% move here from this current level. So of course, we could potentially dip down here to um, our bottom Bollinger Band here on the weekly, 156 which again, on paper, in the immediate short term, seems extremely volatile, it seems like a big percentage drop. However, again, at the end of the day, this is more of a long-term investment as opposed to a short-term trade. So whenever you want to get out, of course, it's your money. It's entirely your own prerogative. But in my opinion, if I began buying it here at 180, 170, and then they dipped it down even further into the 150s, even 140s, whatever wherever the hell they want to take it, I would be buying and accumulating shares like a freaking animal. And that's just my opinion. But here we can see also the MACD looks like it's basically flat, potentially crossing to the downside here on the weekly. We drop down that. And again, uh, I could say anything can happen. But if I like it here at 170 and change, if they want to give me this stock down here at one and a half, no problem, brother. I would say thank you with a smile on my face. But that's just me. That's just the way I'm looking at it. Let's check the pivot points on the weekly real quick and I'll let you guys go. Yeah, as you can see, you know, last last pivot point really was up here at 273. And that seems like also a pretty a pretty stable and solid price level, believe it or not. Even though we had, of course, the big break and of course we dropped down below it recently. I still say, in my opinion, this is easily a three dollar stock sitting here currently at its current business footprint. 
And of course, in the long term, I'm expecting bigger and better things. Again, with the hype off of it, uh, you can see the stock went up to about $5 a share here mid-July when word got out. And that's why I'm telling you now, if this company does consistently keep signing new clients, new deals, potentially licensing out this technology even, but of course, more importantly, with the CEO mentioning that they were approached in the past with buyout bids, in my eyes, it is not even a question whether or not there is value here. So that's why I'm saying, again, in my opinion, if this was one that was on your watch list that you forgot about or you didn't get in because it ran up and it pissed you off, in my eyes, now is the time for you to step in and take a position. If you began buying this stock up at two and a quarter, two and a half, three dollars, and now you're down, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent, whatever the case may be, in my opinion, I would average in and add to the position Build the position, accumulate as many shares as possible, because I'm telling you, if we turn around one, two, three years from now, and this stock is holding steady at six, seven dollars and change, consistently signing new clients, you're not going to remember the fact that it went down first after you bought it instead of going up. You're going to come back, you're going to look at these lower price levels, and you're going to be kicking yourself in the ass, wishing that you had the foresight to see a good thing coming. And that's why I made this channel. And that's why I try to make these videos for you guys. And I'm going to end it there. So once again, this is Stocks by the Numbers. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Thumbs up algorithm helps me get more eyes on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That is our handshake agreement. That is how you help me help you. But of course, more importantly, moving forward, like I always say, I understand that these markets are very rocky. They're very volatile. They're very uncertain. I want to wish everyone success. Hope all of you make a couple of dollars. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.